What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a couple of news stories, handful of questions, nothing too crazy on the questions, which is again, always nice to get a little bit of a break with too many questions there, uh, but we do have some good ones today. But with that said, let's get into the tech news. First, the first story of the day has to do with Oh man, I'm never prepared for this. I really should be. I have it plugged in and everything. Gotta unplug it. Galaxy Z Fold 3. If you're like me and you use the Gboard keyboard, then you probably love it. I actually, I like it a lot better than the Samsung keyboard. I like the, where the emojis are laid out and the buttons at the top, I mean, the numbers at the top and I don't know, I, I, the themes and I, I just like it better. But there's a couple of things coming to the Gboard for the Galaxy Z Fold phones that's gonna make it even better better and maybe even some points in line with what Samsung keyboard already has and that is this. So one of the big things it's gonna have is it's gonna potentially have a split keyboard so that it will split right in half. The Samsung keyboard can do that currently, which is if you like, I'm not a big fan, fan of it, my wife has her set up like that, but it'll be split smack dab in the middle, there'll be a toggle for it in preferences. And then the other one is it potentially have a material U theme to it so it potentially hopefully will match up with your phone a little bit better and just look a little bit cooler as well so very interesting cool stuff if you're using gboard it should be coming to at least the galaxy z fold 3 and obviously all the other phones as well from the galaxy fold line next up is a really really cool device and i love the future of where phones can go and we've kind of seen this in the past uh, it's just something that's popping up again and it is a wraparound display from Samsung for their obviously would be their Z Fold line or Z Flip line, more so probably the Fold line more than anything. But ultimately the Galaxy Z Phone that potentially will be coming out in the future is just gonna add on to what we are ex expecting with craziness from phones with their new Galaxy wraparound display smartphone as Samsung has patented a Galaxy smartphone with a wraparound display with S Pen support and virtual game buttons and numerous operating scenarios. And here's the patent photos of how potentially this could look with like, you've got one end of it where you're, I guess, playing a game or controlling something with buttons on there and then it flips around and on the right hand side, you can still see it or you can use it as a traditional phone or you can flip it and look at one side and look at the other side as something else. And it just is gonna be, Really cool looking. I the, like this is the kind of wraparound that would be interesting. <clears throat> I'm not so much a fan of the waterfall design, but this is like a true waterfall design, and <clears throat> to give you a lot of functionality in different areas of the phone, with obviously the cameras at the top, like a traditional phone and S Pen support, but potentially a much bigger palette at that as well to really play with and do different things in different orientations. And again, the future is bright, so you gotta wear shades. So what do you think about that phone? Is this something you'd be interested in? Or are you still, you know, you're not into the whole folding thing yet, or you don't like it, or maybe you just like the way the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is, where you have this small display and then a bigger display on the inside. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. With that said, let's get into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that First question comes from Tim Grossman says, I got the Samsung Buds Pro with my S22 Ultra. However, I've noticed that the noise cancellation doesn't seem to do much. Do you think Samsung will do something to update the improvement this? And uh, why is it a feature it doesn't seem to do anything? So the, the, the active noise cancellation on Buds works, but it doesn't completely block anything out. It works better on, you know, traditional over the ear headphones. With earphones, it's definitely not as good, but it does work a little bit. It really just deafens or deadens the sound around you a little bit. I still feel like the AirPods Pro do a better job at it versus the Galaxy Buds Pro, but the Galaxy Buds Pro do a little bit of it. Again, is it massively impressive? No but it's something. Zach007 says, quick question, man, I live in USA, but I haven't received the update yet. Any suggestions? So I'm assuming he has a Galaxy S22 phone and I'm assuming he's talking about One UI 4.1. So it's, from what I've seen and heard, it sounds like AT&T people still don't have it. Some Verizon people don't have it. It's rolling out, so just be patient. Um, I got it, I have unlocked. Um, it just depends, it, it's, 
it's rolling out. I mean, that's the best I can do. I don't know exactly when you're going to receive it, unfortunately. JC says, love your videos. Maybe for question and section, instead of having the whole screen black, maybe keep your face, but have the question come up at the bottom, sort of like YouTube captions. So that's what I'm trying right now. I, I usually, um, you know, walk away from the screen and look at it because it's easier to read on my phone. I mean, on my, my computer screen. So I took a picture of the screen and I'm doing what you say. We'll try to check it out. See if you guys like this better. Cali boy, Kev, how do you like Google messages? Is it better than the galaxy text messages? And do you recommend it? If you ever get a chance, can you make a video? What's on your Android? So I always do what's on my Android. I do that usually once a phone haven't done it with the S 22 ultra. I will add it to my list of videos as a reminder to do it. And then in terms of Android me Google messages or Samsung messages, I use Google messages. I've been using it for years. It's got RCS built into it. I, I like the way it looks and feels. I'm fine with it. I, that's the one I would recommend. It's, I've had really not too many issues with it. So I'd say use that one. And our last question comes from Christopher Pompa says, I'm happy Samsung is rolling out an update to the S22 series. What about screen brightness? They advertise 1750 at peak brightness and max text proved that was incorrect. Will things improve? Basically, he's talking about the screen brightness of the Galaxy S22 Ultra being 1750 uh, nits, and he's saying that it doesn't feel like it. Um, that's tough because I feel like it, it's definitely, I feel like it's brighter than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. When I look at them side by side, especially outdoors, I feel like it's easier to read this phone. I haven't done a, a scientific test where I like put some kind of tool up to it that maybe Max Tech did, but um, hopefully he tried it outside because that's really be, going to be where it shines uh, in that direct sunlight kind of view. Um, but I'm not sure. I didn't watch his video, but I know he's a good YouTuber, so I don't know. But I don't have any problems with the brightness. I guess that'll be your second question. Do you have the S22 Ultra? Are you, are you unhappy with the brightness? Put that in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question as your first word, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.